This is the DIY writing machine I built a while ago which can be used for writing or drawing. And this is a 40 watt laser module. In this video, I will convert my writing machine into a laser engraver and test how it will work with different materials. So let's get started. To convert the writing machine, I simply designed a new plate to hold the laser and replaced it with the pen holder plate. I also added a manual Z-axis movement system to move the laser head up or down to adjust the focus. Initially, I used this 5mm threaded rod but it took forever to move. Then I replaced it with this 8mm lead screw and POM nut and now it works well. I also replaced the Arduino Uno and CNC Shield control board with this new MKS DLC32 CNC control board from MakerBase, which has features such as wireless control through its mobile app. More on this in another video. I printed an enclosure for the board and mounted it onto the plotter to the modified base. Once everything was in its place, I did the wiring again. I also changed the motor drivers to these TMC2225 silent drivers which are smoother, quieter and more efficient. And the machine was ready for use. The power supply is also changed as the laser head alone consumes 40 watts so I used this 12 volt 5 amps power supply. I placed the machine on top of this 20 mm thick piece of plywood to save my table from being burned by the laser and also put on these safety glasses which came along with the laser. I would like to add a safety warning here. The laser is a powerful one and can cause permanent damage to the eye or skin. Do not look at the laser beam directly or engage with it and always wear safety equipment while operating it. Also, the laser burns the material and fumes are released which can also be harmful. Make sure you use the laser in a properly ventilated area. I connected the power supply to the board and connected the board to my laptop via USB. To control the laser, we need a GRBL controller software such as Laser Gerbil. I downloaded an open laser gerbil and connected to the board using serial connection. Select the right COM port and click connect. In case you do not see a COM port, you will have to install the USB driver. Go to tools, install CH340 driver. Once connected, we can enter G-code commands to operate the laser and also control the X and Y axis using the jog controller. Before turning the laser on, we need to adjust the focal point of the laser. This is a fixed focus laser and its focal point is at 3mm above the surface. I used this 3mm thick acrylic sheet to set the focus. I tested the laser on different materials such as paper, plywood, MDF, acrylic sheets, glass and even stainless steel. There are basically two ways to use the laser either for engraving or for cutting. First, I engraved this drawing on paper with 10% power and it was very faint. I did it again with 20% power and the result was much better. I then made this simple box using this online box generator tool. Simply select the type of box you want, enter the dimensions and download the file. In Laser Gerbil, you can set the speed, power and number of passes required. It took 3 passes for the laser to cut the acrylic but the result was very neat and the box was a perfect fit. I made another cool pirate box with a hinge using this MDF sheet. Now 
The laser does not work on transparent materials such as clear acrylic and glass as the optical laser light directly passes through the material. When engraving on any shiny metal surface, just blacken the work area using a flame to avoid any reflections of the beam from the metal surface. The laser was able to cut up to 3mm thick wood and acrylic and engrave on almost all surfaces. I will further test this laser and share more results with you. As always, you can find the CAD file links for the upgrade in the video description along with the BOM Excel sheet. That's all for today and I will see you guys in the next video.